Hello everyone, welcome to Film Family, and uh, today we're going to be talking about what's the best Denzel Washington performance, and this is because uh, Denzel Washington was just awarded with the late uh, AFI Lifetime Achievement Award, and uh, which is something, you know, it's obviously very rare and for people of great, you know, impact and influence in the uh, film industry, and um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, let say our quick opinions on Denzel Washington. Um, I think he's an immaculate actor, he's fantastic, he's a two-time Oscar winner, and you know he's been nominated many more times. He's super talented, one of the best actors out there. And mm -hmm. I mean, I really do think he's just a credit to just Hollywood, and he's just a very talented actor in general. And he deserves all the praise he gets. I totally agree. I mean, Denzel's one of those that I just I've tremendous respect for as an actor. I feel like he gives a hundred and twenty percent to every role that he he um, takes on. But also the fact that he can carry, like he carries movies in, in that way. And it was really hard to decide what was going to be the one that I was going to choose for the best performance. And we have different ones. Yeah. You know, spoiler alert. But it's, I mean, this Denzel's the man. Like he really is. He's, he's, he's you know, he, this is long overdue for me in, in that way because I feel like he's one of the best actor, uh, consistently best actors in our generation. I agree. Um, so yeah, before I say my performance, I want to say that uh, me and Taj, you know, had a lot of discussions about this. And I actually said that for me, um, like the most entertaining performance from Denzel uh, would always be training age yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. It's just, you just enjoy watching Denzel be this kind of corrupt and sleazy cop who's still just fun to watch. And mm -hmm. he's always, you know, he knows exactly what he's doing, but he's also just, he's just a bad cop because, you know, he's just abusing his power and, you know, that, that final scene, the whole King Kong rant that's, you know, famous now, mm -hmm. it's probably one of the best monologues I've seen from a movie. I mean, he is just, he's just putting his emotion out there, and it's just some of the best acting I've seen in a movie. And he's extremely charismatic, but also, you know, you, you do kind of hate him, but, you know, you also kind of like him. Um, but what I think the best Denzel Washington performance is, is from the movie Fences. Um, now, he didn't win an Oscar for this role, um, but I, don't, I think there's a very strong argument that he should have, because... I think this is a movie that really not much happens in. Um, it's you know a long movie, but not much actually goes down in it. Besides, it's his character Troy just kind of going through his life um, with his son and his wife. And um, Denzel has just so many scenes in this movie that he just he he destroys like everything. He's somebody who can really just put on a show, but also you know he can kind of give you that spectacle, but give some more you know kind of emotional weight to it and he um he really does just do a great job in this role interesting um full disclosure i never saw fences so so um i i will take your word for it i'm actually going to see fences because of what of you picking that as your your um the one i picked training day for because that was for me like um and i hadn't seen it since the theaters but I knew that it was one, and it was hard for me to pick because, you know, I loved Hurricane, I loved um, Malcolm X as well. They, they, you know, when someone plays an, another person and it's a bio and they kind of in, incorporate that character to the point where it's like, wow, he did a really good job. But there was something about Denzel being dark and corrupted you know, in, in this movie that was different than everything else. Yeah, that well, seen. so that's kind of the thing about Fences is that he's um, somebody who's kind of proud of himself that he's bought in his house and he has a job, but he's also kind of just a bitter man and he's kind of just mm -hmm. angry at the world. And he, um, he's, I wouldn't, I don't know if, you know, he's an alcoholic, but he, you know, he drinks a lot and he just kind of just does, you know, his daily thing, but he has a very, you know, painful relationship with his son. And there's um, two brilliant scenes um, one where, you know, if you've seen it, where his son asks him, why doesn't he like him? And he just, you know, he tells him that he doesn't have to like him because it's his duty to buy him, you know, a house and make sure he eats food. And he's done that. He says, I don't have to like you. There's no law that says I have to like you. And then the uh, um, other scene is where his son's going into the house and Denzel is just saying, you have to say, excuse me. And his son's saying, like, you're not, I'm not afraid of you anymore. And then there's this whole thing and they end up fighting and, Scenes like that are really powerful, but even just the little thing. I mean, Denzel's accent in this movie is really good. Um, he really does kind of play this as a guy who seems like he wants to do better, but like knows what he's doing is just he's he's not the best man he could be, but he continues to live like that. And it's you almost feel bad for him a little bit, but you know, at the end of the day, he's just a flawed man, and that's something I really do appreciate about this performance.
Interesting. So that's that was one of your things, just being the flawed man and playing. Yeah, that. well, because like you were saying, Denzel a lot of times plays not good guys, but he plays you know I would say lighter characters. Likeable. Yeah, a little more. Like, and Denzel's you know just very likable, obviously. Um, but I think also his performance in Flight kind of shows that a kind of a tortured character. Mm-hmm. But Training Day, I don't think is tortured. More as he's just kind of a bad guy. He's just corrupt. He's yeah. corrupt. You know, he and he is a cop, but he's you know he's a sleazy <laughs> cop. You know, he's like. He has, you know, money owed to the mob, and, you know, mm. he's just doing all these corrupt things. And, you know, I really do like the training day performance, so it's hard for me to kind of put fences above him. But I think there's a little more emotional weight to training day. I think it's important that an actor, you know, in any performance gets to have one scene where they get to convey the character's emotion. Not saying they have to, every performance has to have a scene where they're screaming. You know, I, I'm not saying that, but what I mean is that they get to show why their character matters and why their character is just important to the story in terms of what their character's thinking and how their character feels, so they feel like authentic humans. And I feel like, um, you know, Alonzo from Training Day isn't quite as good as uh, Troy from Fences just because of that. But I do really uh, like Alonzo from Training Day. It's interesting because I, when I first saw Training Day, I did not really enjoy it as much as I did recently when I saw it again. Because um, I saw it in the theater, and I wasn't ready for corrupt Denzel. Like I, I honestly, I wasn't ready for it, and so for me, it kind of took me for a loop. But then revisiting it and watching it again, I was so all in, and I, I, I was just watching his performance. And Tiana was kind of like, "Whoa, that's kind of interesting that you know they chose him to to play that." Yeah. But she loved it as well for that reason. Yeah, it's, because it's what got him an Oscar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And 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 that was yeah. another thing. I mean. Younger me was like, you know, well, he's had better performances and whatever. But then I actually watched it with a, you know, knowing that he was going to play a bad guy and be and and it was like, okay, I can see why he got this Oscar. Yeah, so he got his first Oscar for Glory, um, and that's a really good performance. But there's the thing about that movie is that there's other great performances in the movie, and not saying that Ethan Hawke was bad in Training Day because he he actually did a really good job to me. Yeah. But Denzel shines in Training Day. He's taking all the attention and he's taking all the charisma because he's Denzel, and in every scene he shows out. My favorite scene besides his, you know, rant at the end, the whole King Kong thing. I think the scene where. Um, you know, the Ethan Hawke actually, he, you know, confronts, you know, Denzel at the house mm-hmm. with his girlfriend and, you know, he has the drugs and whatnot. And Denzel's just kind of enjoying it because he, he knows, you know, he's been kind of revealed now and that Ethan Hawke's trying to bring him in. And he has just so much confidence. And, you know, he carries around a lot of that swagger and coolness with him while still being kind of somebody you, you kind of, you know, hate. So it is something that, you know, I really enjoyed watching. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't think Fences is quite as entertaining or charismatic, yeah. but I just pick it as a little more of an emotionally charged performance. Yeah, the hard thing about picking a Denzel movie is that there's so many to choose from. I mean, you mentioned Yeah, Glory. we didn't even mention Malcolm X. Yeah, Malcolm X, Glory, Glory, you know, one of my favorite movies just because of the topic of it, um, which if you haven't seen it, see that as well. Um, gosh, there's just so many. I mean, there's... there's even though, Flight is a little underappreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think overall Denzel, I mean, he just, he likes to pick out unique roles too, I think, which is something interesting. I think all of his characters, like a lot of actors, you can see something in common with their characters, but Denzel's played some pretty radically different characters. And um, something that's interesting too is like in a movie like Man on Fire, mm-hmm. that's a pretty different movie from like, you know, Flight or Fences or Training Day yeah. or, you know, even The Equalizer. So yeah. yeah. But Denzel, one thing I think you can always be sure is that he does a great job in whatever movie he's in. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Manchurian Candidate, to uh, Pelican Brief. I mean, I've watched, I've watched almost besides Fences. I've watched, which I have to see. And um, yeah, I I will be watching that. And so yeah, I mean, what else do you want to say? Do you have? Yeah, I just want to say, obviously, congratulations to Denzel. Yeah. He absolutely deserves it. Um, and yeah. I really do think, you know, if you have a certain Denzel performance that you really like for whatever reason, leave it down below and, you know, tell us why you like it so much. And, um, yeah, for me, like I said, just final thoughts is just because I think there's, you know, a little more nuance to Denzel's character in Fences. And mm-hmm. I think it, you kind of see a, a troubled man, but a man who kind of wants to do the right thing, who's kind of stuck in almost a too traditional of a mindset. Too traditional of a mindset, meaning that he won't kind of allow himself to be updated and be kind of a better father and husband mm. because of that. And that's something I find very interesting. So Denzel stubborn, plays it. It's very stubborn, stubborn, yeah. In his ways. Yeah, and very much kind of saying, I'm the man of the house, which is, yeah. you know, not always something that is great to, you know, 
kind of carry with you if that's the only way you're going to think. Um, and I think that's very interesting. And I do love his performance in Train Day, as I said. Cool. Well, that's our, um, I don't even want to say, it's not a review. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind what of we just, think the best Denzel Washington performance. Yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely leave your comment below of what your favorite Denzel performance was.